You guys, I mentioned the bill just came back last week, uh, Friday, I believe it was. The bill uh, came back Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the so the bill came back Friday for a total of a whopping one point two trillion dollars uh, mm -hmm. for for uh, you know advancement of the U.S. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, of course, including highways, roads, and bridges. Um, and so, so to me, it's just. Ironic. I'll say ironic. Mm. It's just it's just ironic that this bill just came back on Friday. Three and a half days later. Monday, Monday morning, you know, you know Monday night, Tuesday morning. This happens to a very uh, uh, um, pro, a, a major significant. corridor, significant mm -hmm. corridor mm -hmm. um, of a bridge. Uh, mind you, the Francis Scott Key. Hmm. It so. says President Joe Biden signed the $1.2 trillion Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act into law on November 15th over the next few years. Right. Yeah, but but we know that it was obviously pushed through. We saw it on Friday. Everybody right. here saw it Friday. <clears throat> as far as, you know, of course, we know that there's a matriculation period. First it goes here, then it goes here, then it goes here, and then bingo, bingo, there you go. All righty. Uh, in November, over the next few years, states uh, states will get multi-billion dollar windfall investments in physical infrastructure to build roads, bridges, and uh, public transit, clean water and wastewater systems, electric vehicle charging networks, and high-speed internet through investors, though investors, pardon me, can work with a financial advisor to capitalize on these dynamics in their portfolios. Absolutely. States themselves will get varying amounts of that cash influx. Let's break down how much money your state could get from Congress. Now, we know that it will get from Congress, okay? Barring anything that they may have cut apart. But anyway, well, the look. White House, mm -hmm, go, go. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I was just saying, scroll down to Maryland. Okay, let's scroll down. Let's just cut to the scroll, chase. Scroll, scroll down to Maryland. Scroll Absolutely. down to Maryland. Let's go to Maryland. Um, and, and and check out what they what they what they are what they are bringing to the table. <laughs> um, so when you when you pull up Mar Maryland, they are allotted seven point four. I mean, pretty just much. roughly, pretty much. Yeah, it is seven point four billion dollars. And and listen to this: four hundred and nine million of it is for bridge replacement and repairs. <clears throat> so and just in the nick of time. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just, it's just fast. It's just, it's ironic. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. It's, it's, it's ironic. Isn't it ironic? Just, a, yep. just a little, you know. So it says the, uh, the state could expect to get four point one billion dollars in highway aid, four hundred and nine million for bridge replacement and repairs, and one point seven million over five years to improve the public transportation, sixty three million over five years to expand their electric vehicle charging networks, and one hundred million dollars in broadband infrastructure investments is seven point nine million dollars over five years to protect against wildfires, fifteen point nine million to protect against cyber attacks. 844 million over five years to improve water infrastructure and 158 million over five years for airport development. Now, the um, funny thing is, okay, let's say, for example, there are a whole bunch of bridges. <laughs> you know, burn all of them. Okay. No, we get that one bridge. I'm on my money first. Not to say that they had anything to do with this, of course. I'm just saying. It, you know, we'll, we'll get the first allotment. Not only was it done now, we're ready to go ahead and rebuild. My question is, and I, and I, you know, I really want to see exactly when we will expect the United States part in the maritime, uh, the maritime bridge that's being done for Israel, because there is evidence that shows, and I've, I pulled this, all this up. There's evidence that shows that America will, the United States, I should say, uh, the United States is in partnership with this building of the bridge, uh, of this maritime bridge. However, it was secret for a minute, so much so that there are some reports from different uh, news articles that show that it was a secretive partnership 
that the United States and to everybody from the front didn't even have any idea that the United States had a part of this. But as you read through some of them, it'll say the secret relationship between the United States and Israel to build X, Y, Z. So all of these things, again, if you follow the money, ain't nobody doing nothing for nothing. Nobody's going to give up, you know, a partnership with anybody for nothing. And the only reason why we're seeing now somebody say, well, uh, shame on them for having this many people harmed over there is because we know what time it is. It's an election year. And the same thing that happened in, with the election year mindset in the state of Georgia, you know, dealing with this whole entire kangaroo court thing that's going on with the former president. And again, not necessarily, and I don't necessarily agree with this cat, but what I'm saying is you can see a kangaroo when you see a kangaroo. If you know a kangaroo, when you see it, you ain't got to be on either side. OK, all you got to do is get your box of popcorn and sit there and watch it because that's what exactly exactly what it is. But we even said in that situation, because if you follow the money, you know what's up, that nothing would become of it. I would not be shocked if the judge said, well, just go on ahead and do X, Y, Z, because it's an election year, not just for him, but several others. So it's all about protecting the money. It's all about here goes some money. It's all about let me get my money first, which if we're looking at this situation, it could very well be. Let me get my money first. Oh, you guys already know you approved it. So let me go ahead. Let us go ahead and get our money first. And all of the companies that stand to gain are That's ex exactly all of the companies that stand to gain is unbelievable. Let's look at that. That's um, what it is. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's so so you have to understand we're, we're as, as Americans or as America is concerned, we are operating on an what 80 plus year um, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, like the the infrastructure was was put in place after World War II. Mm -hmm. Like all the roads, all all the mm -hmm. highways, all the you know uh, all the um uh, electrical uh, grids, things like that. Man, it's it's almost a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. So like, and then we have we have these uh up and coming uh Arab states that are mm -hmm. light years ahead of us. They have technology. They have they have all the fiber optics like. Um, they're all underground, you know what I mean? Like, um, yes. uh, so everything's solar, everything's, uh, it's just, it's just high tech in comparison to our cave, uh, era, uh, you know, uh, electrical grid. And, um, we, we're long overdue for, get, you know, propping it up, propping it back up, if mm -hmm. you will. And, mm -hmm. um, but so what I'm saying is like all of these companies that are in play, like who's at the front of the line? Hmm. Who's at the front of the line? Follow the money. <clears throat> well, let's take a look at this. Okay. So if the entire Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore were to collapse, here are some of the things. So you've got construction company and engineering firms, companies involving in the emergency response, the recovery, and the reconstruction efforts could see or would see a surge in demand for their services. And this could lead to an increased stock prices for those firms. Now, if you remember a few years ago, four years ago, when we first had the entire uh, shutdown of the United States and all the different you know, areas of the world, there were certain areas that hurt because of the shutdown. And the main thing was home builders were not able to get all of the items that they needed to build the homes because a lot of those companies went down and a lot of the home builders ended up having to charge more for the homes because the parts and the items that they needed to build the homes, the price increased, they said. So now transportation and logistic companies, shipping and transportation companies that rely on the bridge for, transport, for transporting goods would face significant disruptions and potentially incur higher costs for alternative routes. This could lead to decrease to discrete to decreased stock prices for these companies in the short term. It Absolutely. could also, yeah. <clears throat> so let's so, go on. So, go so we're looking at, we're looking at, we're looking at uh the downfall or the potential spiral uh even of uh mom and pop. Mm. But Absolutely. but the skyrocket mm -hmm. in corp in corporate Amer in corporation. Absolutely the infrastructure and material companies that provide the materials for building and repairing the bridges, such as the steel and the concrete manufacturers would likely benefit from increased demand. Now the question is who owns those companies? 
<laughs> okay, who are the major players in those companies? This could also result in higher stock prices for these companies. My question is, who knew and how much has somebody invested just recently in any of these companies? That takes, a, you, you just want to take a look at it. Now, the tourism and the hospitality companies, you're going to see if this, obviously, because of the collapse of this bridge, it could have significantly in, significant impact on the tourism to the area, which is going to obviously, you know, have lower stock prices for some of those companies that are in the hospitality sector because people aren't going to be coming in and out. The local businesses, to your point, Ronnie, some of the companies that are located near that bridge that rely on it for customer traffic, which is the middle cat, not the big cat, because the big cats, they don't have an issue coming back in to take care of all of the construction workers that's going to be needing to come in and out. They don't have a problem with any of that. But the middle man is not going to be able to deal with this for too long, especially if they were dealing with traffic coming in and out of that area. That's exactly. going to potentially... Most of those companies that are mom and pop are not necessarily open to the public. So these aren't open stock companies, but it would definitely prevent them <clears throat> from making the revenue that they are generally, right. you know, used to having to keep their livelihood afloat. Now, and not to, and not to mention, go. not not to mention the, uh, the uh, cargo channel that stopped up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. This is like. <clears throat> this is like 9-11 and, and COVID all wrapped into one. So so there are um, at least eight, nine, ten uh, cargo vessels that are inside of the Baltimore port that can't get out and will remain there for an unforeseen amount of time. And those they, goods aren't coming off of that ship, right? Off of those vessels, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So all the goods well, no. that are there, well, are just well, all, all the there? goods that were going to come off are being taken off or have already been taken off, and all of the ones that have been loaded to be exported out are just sitting. So this the, this far reaches just the this community because uh, where is it going? Um, I think it was going to Sri Lanka. Yeah. So yeah. So, Sri Lanka so, and a couple of other places. So the um. The economy over there is about to be slumped for a couple of weeks. And when it's slumped for a couple of weeks, that it, uh, equivocates on a global scale months, months. And then the resounding impact uh, financially, you know, mm -hmm. uh, could be years, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on how much and how, how it, it reverberates. It reverberates. It reverberates. It does. It's like a rippling effect. The whole entire thing is this big rippling effect. And, 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 and I do have to point out again that time and time again, we've seen issues take place with bridges and with highways. And as a signal that was coming from the time that we first started seeing it all the way up to now, it's now coming right to your door. It's mm -hmm. like right at your door because a lot of these companies that utilize this stuff, you know, I, 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 I don't believe that a lot of the stuff, unless they're going to use it as a tax write-off, I don't believe that a lot of, no, I'm not even going to go there right now. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that, <laughs> I'm well, gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that I, right there. I mean, there. I mean, on another side, I mean, on, a, on another tangent, like uh, thanks to, you know, the trusty big brother Fed and uh, uh, the entire federal government and, you know, um, Biden's excellent timing in implementing this bill back in November. So it is uh, in play now. Like we, man, the, the, the saviors are here. Absolutely. The saviors Absolutely. Are here. Absolutely. This is, this is that in, in, you know, personified it's, it's, it's definitely the way that we always know about the Hegelian dialectic. You know, you cause the problem and you, po you pose the problem, you cause the problem. And here, I got a solution for you. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> except the solution, obviously, in this case, was done, you know, uh, was done long ago. As I showed with the 10 years on this, on this particular mall being there. Beautiful mall, by the way, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say that that was sort of state of the art? Oh, that was top notch. That was top notch. Yeah, it was top notch. And so these are the types of things I want everybody to look at going forward. But the biblical indication that we read today was significant. And as long as you understand that it all ties in together, 
right, right. You, you won't go wrong. What do you think that, about that? Well, that's why I'm speaking on the specific aspects that I am, because you hit it on the head as well. Once again, um, this is all mammon. This Absolutely. is all mammon. Absolutely. That's, so that's why I'm harping on the money. Well, of course, you know, uh, you should always follow the money. Mm -hmm. But but at the same time, in relation to the end time prophetic and, you know, um, I, I'll even go dark on you real quick. Doomsday prophecies oh, and yeah. you know, things of that nature. Like it all is based on mammon specifically. Oh, yeah. Maritime specifically yeah. the maritime industry please go back and scrutinize the text um um in regards to revelation 18 when it's when it's um giving you the litany of uh goods that it, it, that's the global trade that is absolutely mm -hmm. the maritime industry that is absolutely the uh the global trading industry the imports and es exports and uh like i said they got that playbook right out of ezekiel 24 uh, uh, uh part of 26 and 27 and 27 yeah. absolutely yeah absolutely, absolutely. And, and he's telling you the same thing and that is the call of for a lamentation unto tyre the city mm -hmm. of Tyre. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, um, I, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull I'm, up. Easy okay, well, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up a map so we can see exactly what we're oh, talking. Oh yeah, about. give me the map. All give right, me I'll, the be, map. I'll be right back. I'll be right. Yeah, back. yeah. You know, you guys, like we shared, uh, we always want to use the biblical context to look at exactly what's going on because to me, that's like our compass, as it were. It shows us that we're headed in the right direction. It shows us that when you're thinking of something by yourself and you don't have anybody else to bounce something off of that you're in the right direction. When you get an idea and you're like, wait a minute, is that, I don't know. No, you're in the right direction. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself at all. Because generally when you get that thought, that's for your own uh, security, your own safety. That's for you to understand exactly what's up. Whenever you see something like that, whenever you're getting those ideas, could it be that passage? It most assuredly is that passage. It most assuredly is. So here you see what we read earlier, Ezekiel 26 and Ezekiel 27. I want you guys to make sure that you go there because it says in verse 17 of 26, Ezekiel, and they will take up lamentations for you and say to you, how you have perished, O oh, one inhabited by seafaring men, a renowned city. Everything deals with port cities because that's commerce. That's commerce. And when you consider the verse that we're talking about in Revelation 18, they're talking about they could see it from afar off. And in that movie, which is the backdrop of where you see us right here, this backdrop, that backdrop is from that movie, Leave the World Behind. When those two ships, the ship that we just got through seeing this morning and the ship in Leave the World Behind, if you juxtapose those ships together, let me see if I do an overlay, if you're able to see what I'm saying. Let me see if I do an overlay Will it take me off the air or will it let you guys see it? Hold on. Here is the overlay. That's the background. Here is the overlay. So you guys can see what I'm referring to. Right. Overlay, overlay. Right there. You see that? The first one was the white lion. And it had 1619 was one of the scanners on this movie. One of the scanners on the movie was 1619. Let me see if you guys can still hear me. Mods, can you still hear me? Let me know if I'm still up. Let me know if I'm still up, if you can still hear me with this overlay on. But the movie showed a scanner in the movie, and it had 1619 on it. And it was the White Lion, which is a Chinese-owned ship, Chinese-owned fleet, I would imagine. Uh, you can hear me, five by five, blessings. Um Good, good, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leslie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Cindy. So this in this favor, they favor. But if you haven't watched that movie, I suggest you go watch it. For those of you who, like myself, had gotten rid of your Netflix, if you got it free with your cell phone bill, watch the movie. Because this overlay right here and what you see on the left, the first side that you see on the left is the container ship that hit the bridge this morning. What you see on the right is from the movie, Leave the World Behind. This particular ship in that movie went all the way up to that sand and sat there. 
And it just so happens to be the white lion. And it just so happens to be the white lion. And the 1619 was the actual time frame that they, the United States, brought in some of their first slaves that came in, I believe, through Virginia. I could be wrong, but I believe it was through Virginia. Because as New you Ham guys. New Hampton, yeah, Virginia. Uh, Hampton. Mm -hmm. Fort Comfort. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. was. Uh, and the ship was the white lion. Mm -hmm. The ship was the white lion. And this is the ship white lion in this movie. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so anyway, that is exactly what is up with that and how we're looking at the world and how we're looking at what, what is that? What, what do they call it? The, uh, life imitating art or, or, you know, the imitation of life and art or between the two, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> so nonetheless, that's exactly what this is. This is exactly what they're telling you when they said, when, when Barack Obama and his wife, as executive producers of the movie, or of, yes, of that movie, Leave the World Behind, did that, this cat is brilliant in that he does nothing by accident. He doesn't waste his time and do anything. And if That's you guys right. don't understand the form of why I say brilliant, you know, there are a lot of diabolical minds out there that are brilliant. You got a lot of folks out there that are brilliant. So please understand what I'm saying. This man does not waste his time and do something with any of his change, none of his coins, if it didn't have any significance. And if you have not seen that movie for whatever the reason, watch it. 